So, um, do we read messages? What, what do we do next? Does anybody want to say, is Brian still here? I'm sure Brian's puzzled by something. Oh, somebody just sent in a message. This is great. Oh, it's back from Christo. Okay. Okay. He do you want me to read it? it? No, I can read it. I had said that Krista was a blue was a blue dwarf. That was what we played last week. You may not know this, uh, Sabrina. We played the blue dwarf section. So the the terrible crystal, um, which is in Ezekiel one twenty two, chapter one verse twenty two, was a blue dwarf. And they just I wasn't privy to that whole conversation, so I'm just curious as to what you guys interpret it to be. I mean, the blue dwarf wasn't discovered until like telescopic times. What the hell was even was I on on about? Helmet makes more sense to me. <laughs> so he he picked an alternative meaning, Scott. Yeah. He didn't like. He didn't go with the blue crystal. Now, now I, I, there's other meanings for the uh, the blue the terrible crystal. Uh, and so it was interesting to me privately that Ian says to Sue Bone, yes, the terrible the blue dwarf is the terrible crystal. It could mean that the blue of the dwarf, the blueness, is what relates to the crystal. Because actually the, the terrible crystal is iron age drops and the ice cell pack. Because Ion predicted that, it was about a year before, that the blue crystal, no, the uh, terrible crystal would show up April 5th, 2012. Well, what happened? The days before April 5th is when Ash and Duffy found the patent and put it out in Project Camelot, and then other people saw it, and then everybody was talking about it right up just a few days before April 5th. So it occurred to me that the patent is the terrible crystal. And uh, I talked to Carol about it. I hadn't talked to anybody else about it. But then when I found this little piece that I played a couple weeks ago where Ion says, talking about the FDA, and the FDA says, what are your ingredients in the uh, RNA drops? Ion says, the ingredients are Ezekiel 122. So, I, you know, it ter- it's the same. The RNA drops is a terrible crystal. It's, it, it puts fear. The terrible crystal will put fear in the little man and will put bliss in the ascending man or woman. See, this is it. And so, RNA drops, they put fear in people. It splits the electricity. Uh, could you ask uh, Carolyn in what sense the RNA drops are crystalline? No, no, that's, it, they might be crystalline, and, uh, and some of the time's up, she's up there getting ready to go to bed, so I don't know if she's hearing this, maybe she'll, but the, yeah, she's, she's going to bed, so I don't know if she, uh, we'll see, but the, the point is, is that, um, terrible crystal doesn't mean literally what the RNA drops are, or it might, depending on what Carolyn says. But it doesn't have to be literal. So here's what's interesting. is Ion says that the blue dwarf, and Christo thinks, Christo, who's asking about the blue crystal, um, he's, he's, uh, he's um, trying to figure out what the phrase terrible crystal means, and he says, Ion says it's the blue dwarf, but Christo didn't know that actually referred to the RNA drop. See, so this is the, the, the process of communication with Ion. It's all racked with, Briar patches. And well, you know, it sounds, you know, when I, sometimes when I would talk to you on the phone, you would say things that might not make sense to me, but it was almost as though you were just broadcasting it out because the information needed to be uh, assimilated into the environment somehow, whether yeah. I, whether the person you talked to knew what you were talking about or yeah. not. Yeah. Maybe Ion kind of does that. Well, that's one, that's good you say that in relation to what we just heard. I'm saying stuff that not one person in the world understood back in 2001. Now, maybe Nelson Thal did because he heard me talking a lot, you know, one or two people. The thing is, I'm saying it because it has to be said, or somebody thinks it has to be said, and so it's being said. See, that's why you can't judge people. You don't know who's saying what for what real reason that's required in the ecology of, of human interaction, of the split electricity. Yeah, some stuff seems to be more coherent than other stuff, but it depends on the, I guess, on the uh, quality of the uh, speaker. Yeah, and uh, the firmament isn't. You think of the word firmament evokes the the eye, the sky. So lightning can be in the firmament, right? So this whole thing about lightning we were doing last hour 
fits with this quote. Mm. I always associated it with the word filament. I thought it had to do with sort of the light out of the darkness, which comes from the the the, the word being spoken and then bursting into light or something like that. But well, that's the just part of my mind did with it. Yeah, that's a yeah. firmament. F I R M, not filament. Right. Uh, yeah. No, I just made that silly association. So here's Leon Isaac. Um, this is a nice short one. So let's have Sabrina or Sarah or Brian read it. <laughs> 